Hello everyone from the internet, my name is Teshe and today we're going to be talking about the new updated history for Maneater. So before the video starts, I want to say to all my subscribers, I am really sorry for being an actor for about a week. Everything on my computer was lagging such as the applications, so I was taught saying to myself that I need to take a break from YouTube for just a week then come back and now here I am, let's get into it. So, the video that I'm going to be talking about today is the new update Tripwire Interactive has released for Maneater. So, I am currently playing on PS4 and one of the main problems was a lag of frame rate. Like, the frame rate sometimes just drops, especially when you get out of the water and you press R1 when you dodge like bullets or you just try to run away. That was one of my problems with frame rates and thankfully they said the resolution adjustment to improve frame rate is in this update. And with the problem of the frame rate, it seems that I am not the only person who has these problems. There have been other people who have been having these problems on the forum. So thankfully, thanks to a lot of people coming out and telling the frame rates had a problem, Tripwire Interactive has fixed them. This update tries to fix uh, loss or corruption of saved data which didn't happen anything like that to me so it is good for other players to come in the game and not having these issues because what happens to me might not happen to another person so it is good that they added this update and then on the second point they say added additional protection to save the system to prevent the loss or corruption of saved data which is basically the same thing as their first main point uh, on their third main point, they said they're going to improve their frame rate, which is very, very amazing. Thank you very much on that one, because it was one of the main problems that I had. Although they have said that they have improved the frame rate of the game, as soon as I started the game and pressed X, the game was a bit lagging, as you can see on the screen. I don't know why this happened, but when I restarted the game again, it had the same problem. So please, Tripwire Interactive, if you're listening right now, please make sure to improve the frame rate at the starting screen of the game. Once again, although they said that they have improved the frame rate drops for the game, I had some issues with frame rate drops. Normally, one of the frame rate drops problems I had was when I was jumping uh, through the water and pressing R1 while finning. That's when the frame rate like really really dropped and I really hated when it became laggy. But now I tried that and there seems to be no lag. But 5 minutes later when I was underwater, there was a good 5 to 10 seconds frame rate drop where the shark was a bit laggy and the environment was also laggy, which I think Tripwire Interactive did an amazing job to stop the frame rate drop, but it still needs some few improvements. So, Tripwire Interactive, thank you very much for this uh, unexpected update. I wasn't on your forum recently because I was busy with life, but thank you very much for this update. It uh, improved a lot of stuff, stuff, especially frame rate problems, and you seem to listen to your community a lot because I had no idea that we ha some people had problems with loss or corruption of saved data, which is pretty unfortunate if that happens, but that never happened to me. So guys, if you've seen this video, please leave a like. Did you en enjoy the new update? To be honest, I was surprised with this update, and as soon as I played it, everything seems fine. Just some few frame rate problems here and there, but I'm pretty sure they're gonna improve it as time goes on. So. Thank you for watching my video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.